Welcome back to TechPress. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started and adding an automated pop-up discount into Shopify. This process is going to be really simple. So the very first thing what I'm going to do is to have a sign in directly into Shopify. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description to get started to really free for a few days. About discounts, the pop-up discounts are effectively started to engage visitors, reduce call abandonment, and increase some sales. So the Shopify makes it easy to create and customize this pop-up directly from your dashboard. So I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. First of all, I'm going to go here into my home section dashboard of Shopify. Here, what you want to do, of course, is to now here inside the dashboard to create a pop-up discount, we need to install the Shopify application. So if you go into the Shopify app store or go and focus into apps, here you can choose some popular pop-up apps. So I'm going to go here into the upper side and just type the word pop-up and then I go for search the term in the Shopify app store. This one should be popping up this new app.shopify.com section where you can just download a lot of applications. So you can choose Privy, I can choose to Stono, Optimunk, and so much more. So in this case, what you want to do is to focus into one pop-up banner that you can download and has totally for free elements. So I'm going to hit now into install. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the pop boot. So once installed it, of course, it should be appearing directly into your dashboard. I'm going to hit now into install and it should be appearing here into my lab hub and says applications. So there you go. Now, what you want to do, of course, is to follow the on-screen instructions to connect the private to your Shopify store and set it up your account. In your dashboard of the application, in this case, the pop convert, you want to create a new campaign and choose the option that says pop-up, not by first, of course, creating your first pop-up or smart bar. So I choose this option and here should be, of course, choosing which is the campaign type. So in this case, let's go for 50% discount. Select the campaign type, this will be a pop-up. And here, what I can do is to start with an announcement. So in this case, since we want to create an actual coupon, you can do socials, announcement, or coupon. So in this case, I'm going to go for coupon and hit now into create. Once I have done this process, we can see that here it should be appearing to our pop-up. So here I can start to customize my pop-up. Here as you can see we have the main styles, I can change the background color depending on which is the element we would like to use. Let's say that I go for this one. The main title color, let's go some blacks, text color black ones again. You can do white if you want to. And here's a background image. What I can truly suggest to you if you want of course to use a pop-up is not to use an actual image as a pop-up since what's going to happen here is that it's going to be looking really great when it comes to checking out the pop-up. Check out how it actually looks to your pop-up with your actual background image. I'm going to hit now into done. Here's my pop-up and it doesn't look really well because I don't understand what's going to be happening here. So I'm going to delete the background and just leave it into just uh, the colors. Now the fun family should be done really well. Here's the hero layout. I'm gonna choose this into no hero and input button styles. Now into my button styles, I can change this for black. The button background color should be whitey. Now I'm gonna of course to make sure that we have saved this process. If I go into my content, here what I can do is to start and customize what we see here. So we got a sweet discount just for you. Follow us into social media for a free uh, for free and get notified for free. So here's the placeholder. Here's the name. I wanted to capture the name. And if you wanted a phone, in this case, I don't want to focus the subscribe, the coupon, and here my coupon code was shoved out to the submit. Now the coupon code, if you wanted to generate a new coupon, I'm going to open a new tab into Shopify. I'm going to go here into discounts. And here into discounts, you can go into create a discount so you can start in creating a discount for a specific amount of products, uh, amount of the order, free shipping, whatever. In this case, I have this code. So I'm going to copy this code that I have generated and I'm going to go here into the Shopify app and into the content. Here's my coupon code. So the coupon code should be shown after the submit. There we go. Now I'm going to save this element and I'm going to publish this campaign into my store. And as you can see, the pop appears now into my homepage. And you can start by adding the email, the name, here's the subscribe button, and here's the appearance the code. 
So as you can see, it's not that hard to do this pop-up element directly campaign into your store. So make sure that you have done a really great catchy element in order to make sure it actually looks really great for all of us guys. So with that being said, you can now reach the very end of the video guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to see more amazing tools directly into the tax press videos. Thank you guys so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can all see you on a brand new section of tax press. See you guys next time.